What was that? What? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Hey, um, huh? hi. Hi. Welcome to my home, my glorious, glorious home. <laughs> Look at what I have made in the time. Isn't it great? Wait, what was that? What was what? Uh, huh? Oh, I think there's some ghosts on server. There's a spider above us. Gonna, oh, really? Ah, Good nice. luck. I will not do stand for this stuff round here. So hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Um, uh, so Minecraft nice hole you have. It is a nice hole, isn't it? Uh, I, I found this when I was just wandering about. I thought I'd expand it out a little because I <laughs> like expanding holes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and, <laughs> and so we've got this. Is it nice? Isn't it great? It is. It's very pretty. There is very limited uh, storage use here. Um, I, I kind of made this so it's for anyone that just happens to be passing through. I okay. Thought, I thought that'd be quite nice, you know, but give to the community. And look, bibliocraft stuff. You can put stuff on and take it away. Isn't it great? It's wicked, right? E even like on, on here, look, you see, sword, take it away. Let's put the book back. Ah, ah, ah. Can't wait to build myself a proper library and get all this gear in. Mm -hmm. going to be great. And I'm about to sneeze. Ah. Nope. Yeah, alright, maybe not. <laughs> God, can't even do that properly. I can't, can I? Um, so, we, we have a mission today. We do. Um, go kill the Ender Dragon. No. No? Is that not <laughs> our mission? <laughs> oh! Are you I prepped thought for me, that? <laughs> me and my, like, nearly broken iron sword. I, I thought we could go do that, right? You got you got chainmail armour on, right? Right, right. Bra bats? Why are there so many bats here? I don't know. Where are you, where are you coming from? Oh, anyway, um, so what is our mission then? If it's not killing the Ender Dragon, uh, finding somewhere and deciding where to live, I presume. But I live here. Oh well, bye then. I'll leave you here and I'll um, I'll let you know when I found somewhere to live. Really? Yeah. All right. Bye bye then. Bye. Right, bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal your stuff as I leave. No, is that no, right? My stuff. Don't what? Kill it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking for somewhere a bit more better than a hole in the floor in the wall to live at. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Have we found any um, chickens yet? Uh, not here. I think they're further over. You think they're further over? Okay. Right. Well, as we got a boat, should we make another boat? Go on a little exploration, see if we can find anywhere to live, and then get back to these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. All right. Awesome. In a bit. Ah, oh, you see, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this view. It's inspiring. It's gorgeous. It's got water. It's got desert. It's got a fucking magma cube. <laughs> oh, uh, what? What was that? What was what? Oh, oh, it's you. Hi. I see you found a hat. Look, look storm cloud up there or something. What? Do you like it? Look above your head. Do you get that? Further up, further up, like up, right up in the sky. No, I didn't get that. Oh, oh. Oh, Aww. Those of them. They keep appearing. Hi, anyway, sorry. Hi. That, that really confused me during a rainstorm once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you jumping down? Um, yep. Right, cool. So I reckon we uh, we, we have this area here. I, I like, I particularly like this. You like the hills? Uh, no, well, I like this, this bit that's supported um, on just a singular side of a block here with a waterfall coming out of it. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. It is nice, isn't it? Plus, we've got these, these amazing hills to be making stuff on. Um, also, you know what you did on the past uh, server with your uh, wisp ball? Where, where you caged all the wisps in a in a glass time. God, that magma cube is massive. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you remember that? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. I'd like to do that up there, as there's a wisp spawner up there. Oh, is there? There is, yes. Woohoo! Hey, so I reckon we throw down a chest and call this place ours. I'm going to stop this segment before I starve to death on camera. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, and do you like the chest that I threw down? Wow, it's a uh, mighty large chest you have here. It is a mighty large chest, isn't it? Obviously, by chest, I meant um, beachside villa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of fun building this, didn't we? Yep. Um, should we should we give them a fly through round first? Oh yeah, yeah. You should definitely give them the grand tour, right? Right. Fly round. Wow. And back here. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> over here we have my bar because the bar is always important. Here, would you like a drink? Oh yeah, you please. You can see I've been. Uh, oh, 
been massively into the bibliocraft already. B bibliocraft already. There you go. Oh, I, I do apologise. I threw it all over the floor. But your uh, customer service is awful. Well, my customer service is appalling. Uh, we have a desk and a, and a shelf, sofa, doing, doing, jump all over the sofas. Little kitchen unit. Because oh, yeah. you know, I was starving to death last people knew, and uh, here we go for fine selection of fruits to be eaten. Um, mm. The bedroom I feel needs a little bit of work still. Ah, uh, yeah, it could do with feeling a bit more it, homely. It, it is a bit stark and and big at the moment, so yeah. Uh, I've also been working on. Ah, get out of my face! Super duper ultra high tech handle anything or processing facility. Ah, oh, yeah. You've been working on one of those. But one of those. And would you like to show... Ooh, it's night time. Uh, but would you yeah. like to show them where the next project is? I is would. I was slightly alarmed by the mobs that are outside, though. There's no mobs outside. What are you on about? There's only a couple of creepers. Okay, it's creepers. We're going to cut until we can go back there. Oh. <laughs> I'm going this way. Ah, it's all going to explode. <laughs> so, here we are at this blank wall with a strange machine sticking out of it. What have we got on the go here, then? Um, I do believe it's an epic cake machine. Epic cake machine. It will be an epic cake machine, I hope. I know cake machine is a little bit uninspired, but I, I, I have a few plans. Uh, for stars, this will be a fully automatic cake machine. And by fully automatic, I mean that you can go up, you can eat the cake, nom 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 nom, and then when it all disappears, all the machinery ticks over again and puts you out a new cake. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it should be sweet. I hope it's sweet. Should we see how well, how sweet it goes? Uh, I actually think you're lying. You know, cake is a lie, so a this idea of an <laughs> awesome cake machine must be a lie too. Alright, you, you've got me. I'm actually <laughs> going to use it to grind up people. Yeah, that sounds more like your make, style. <laughs> make some soy and green. Mm. Mm. Spoilers. Uh, right, so we'll be back with a machine. Una memento. Hope, well, for you guys, una memento. It's probably going to be all evening for us. No. <laughs> I know, fun, right? Yeah. Alright, anyway, guys. <laughs> So, I've been putting this together and it's time to do a test. What is the best... Oh, ooh, the quartz glass looks good. What is the best type of glass to do? Um, uh, sear glass, not so much. And then we've got some stained glass. I think we have a clear winner here already. Now, the main purpose of this test is to see which ones I can actually break. Um, with my fist, ideally. Let's, let's try this. Okay, no, maybe not because it's quartz glass. Let's try it. Ah, so you can pickaxe quartz glass. That's useful. Right, seared glass, part of the tinker's construct, which we'll be getting into very shortly. Uh, yep, that breaks fine as well. Now this stained glass. Now, oh, it looks good, but no, it breaks, breaks. Ah, oh. right. Well, I think we're going with the quartz glass then, there, people. That was quick. So, it took a little bit more than one evening. Uh, in fact, uh, it's taken so long that occasionally I ran out and did uh, a bit of delving diving. Hence all this stuff down the bottom here. Well, not the minium stone. These are the uh, choice selections from the, uh, the chests. Uh, including this useful thing. Ah, uh, where's my sword? There we go. Oh, go away, skellies. I wonder if I can bash him into the, uh, the orberry bush. There we go. Uh, now this is a safari net, uh, you'll notice it's single use, so I'm using this for only important um, business, which is picking up a cow. Now if we take it up here, you'll notice there's a, a, a splash of colour up there. That never used to be there, it was just a blank wall when we last saw it. Well, I've made this. It needs a bit of glowstone up at the top to uh, provide some colour. Ah. Oh, I didn't even bring any scaffold with me. Okay, well, I need that, and I need that. So let's, uh... No, pull my way up there. And if we pop this... Mm, let's try it like that instead. Hopefully we can pop him in there. Awesome. And there is a steady f s f uh, source of milk. As it's ticking mm. away there. Oh, and you can see the milk being passed down. Hmm, it's not quite how I wanted it to work. I wanted it to work when the plate under there gives the signal when the cake all disappears. But there we go. I think it's all done. Oh, have I just noticed a gap in the glass? 
I have noticed a gap in the glass. Right, well, I need some more glass. But there we go, guys. It's my cake machine. Uh, hopefully we'll now cut to that being full and me actually having some hunger so I can eat all the cake and show you it working. Hey guys, I went and got hungry and fixed the uh, bottom bit of glass and a few bugs that I had found, but let's uh, give it a go. Everything gets fired, we've got a couple of bits of sugar come down there, the wheat came from there. Here come some buckets of milk. Uh, now from testing I have some milk in the reserve so the buckets of milk are just retopping. that's why the cake has already been laying. Uh, for those of you who don't understand the technology, um, it's pretty much all about this turtle and this is a bud switch underneath it. Um, so the bud switch will fire a T flip flop down the bottom, that's a, a two state system that basically turns the whole thing on. Um, and then all these individual branches deliver the the goods like up there we've got the sh uh, sugar we got eggs from there complete with spillover because mm. like containing eggs uh, uh we got milk being fed from a cow via a rancher it's a nifty little system there and we got the planter harvester and uh, uh, an auto craft back there to turn the wheat into a single bit of wheat flour which all combines in this Ma monster of a hopper system to make this cake which when it then gets put into the turtle and the turtle lays it down turning the system off telling it it's made cake good right I think it's good I think it's great uh, I'll just show you a, a, a small glimpse of the horror like this needs tidying oh no oh that could have gone a lot worse go my pro skills of uh, backing up right I'll fix that hole in a second. Dealt with him, that was the main thing. So yeah, like I say, down here we got a T flip flop feeding into a red net system. Um, that then turns on power, um, all the machines, well, it tells things like the uh, transposers to fire out, uh, the cyclic assemblers to build, the transposers to fire out, the pistons up here to fire. Uh, for some reason you can't put the red net straight onto the pistons so I, I've just used a bit of redstone to work around that. This, this whole back area is just an entire bunch of hack jobs, it really is. Like, look at look, look, look at this circle. There's, I may have actually made a fairly efficient system, but oh god, it's not beautiful. Um, I might have to work on that because yeah, you know, it's nice to have redstone looking beautiful back there. Um, and I, I quite like all the way all the uh, the items feed in. Yeah, cool. That's my Cakeatron 5000, guys. Hope you like it. There now follows a very important public service announcement. We present for your consideration, Twitchy. Hello! A normal Minecraft player on a normal Minecraft world. Today, Twitchy intends to go trading with villagers, an action he has performed many times before. This time, he has forgotten his tools. Thoughts of his equipment consume him, but the view of the village draws him forwards. Once again, greed for emeralds has led to a player's downfall. To escape the horrors of the darkness below ground, he begins to fist his way towards the surface, never once realizing the lack of cobble the item oh so common was to seal his fate. Take your pick!